This video will cover introductory information about business analytics, including a definition of business analytics, the wisdom hierarchy, data sources, and business analytics terms, applications, history, and uses. Business analytics is the process of transforming data into insights that support, improve, and or automate business decisions. The data can be of many types and from a variety of sources, and there are many techniques and software packages that can be used for an analysis. A simple way to think of business analytics is that it's the tools and processes used to find value in data, to transform the raw data into information that can be acted upon. A common method of understanding the relationship between data, information, knowledge, and wisdom is by using a pyramid. This graphic is called the DIKW pyramid or the wisdom hierarchy, and it illustrates that data is the foundation upon which decisions can be made. Information is defined in terms of data, knowledge is defined in terms of information, and wisdom is defined in terms of knowledge. Data are numbers or text without any context. Information provides meaning from data, often combining multiple data points to produce a tangible idea. Knowledge provides context from the information, making it directly applicable to a situation. Wisdom applies the knowledge to make a decision. The original data has become useful, enabling an action to be taken. So where does data come from? Data can come from a variety of sources, both internal and external. Internal data is collected by businesses and stored within their own servers. This data can be generated in a number of ways, either by physical objects such as sensors or barcodes, or by using computer software such as websites. While collecting and storing proprietary data sources is still very common, there are now many external data sources that businesses can use. Public domain data sources such as government surveys or social media posts can be accessed, and there are also many services that offer paid data sources, like stock market or weather data. These external data sources can be combined with a company's proprietary data to build a more complete picture of reality. The amount of data that is being generated and collected is growing exponentially. This growth is occurring due to the similar exponential trend in computing power, along with a decrease in costs for digital storage. Because so much new data is being created and captured every year, there's a corresponding growth of demand for business analysts. There are many terms that are synonymous or semi-synonymous to business analytics. In the past few years, data science has become the most common term to be used to describe this field. Other terms are often used interchangeably, such as business intelligence, big data, data mining, knowledge discovery, and machine learning. While there are many discussions about which term to use in which scenario, all of the terms refer to the overall concept of using data to make better decisions or better products. Business analytics is an interdisciplinary subject based heavily on math and statistics it uses computer science principles and algorithms. The math and computer science concepts are applied to a specific subject. Business analytics has applications in every field. Data on all our clicks on the internet are used by retailers to figure out our preferences and provide targeted advertising. Analyzing data on past marketing campaigns provides a useful base to determine who to target for the next round. Supply chains in almost all industries have become far more efficient due to analytics. Organizations use historical data to figure out optimal numbers for staffing and hiring. Companies use demand data to determine optimal prices. And professional sports teams use analytics, such as when they look at player performance, to determine who would be the best draft pick. No matter which industry you work in, there's room for analytics to add value. Although the popularity of analytics has recently peaked, the field is nowhere as new as certain companies or people make it out to be. Since the computer was invented, it was being used to process data to solve problems, from decoding messages in World War II, to generating weather forecasts in 1950, to modeling credit risk in 1958. Of course, these tasks involved enormous computational costs, and only organizations with the most resources could attempt them. Toward the end of the 20th century, as computing power became more affordable, more organizations began collecting and storing data. The types of analytical projects transitioned from being historical in nature to real-time. In 1992, the first real-time credit card fraud system was introduced. Then the first analytically-centric companies emerged. Companies such as Google used data to build their core product while other companies such as Amazon use analytical techniques to earn market share from competitors. 
The rapid ascension of these tech companies has led to an arms race, where all businesses have become committed to analytics. Businesses use analytics to gain an edge on their competitors and increase profits. The three main areas in which they do this are competition, to increase revenue from products or services sold, efficiency, to reduce the cost of resources or internal processes, and customer satisfaction, to improve the customer experience and encourage customer loyalty. Here's a case study as an example. Loyalty cards are used by grocery stores to uniquely identify their customers. By requiring a loyalty card to obtain special discounts in the store, the grocer can isolate habits of each customer and then provide customers with customized promotions to increase spending. When a customer stops frequenting the store, the grocer can mail coupons with aggressive offers. The layout of a grocery store is constantly being changed to maximize customer spending. This is why the milk section is always on the opposite side of the produce section, so customers will have to traverse past every aisle to get to the two most commonly bought items. Each shelf is also analyzed to find the ideal arrangement. More expensive items are typically placed at or around eye level, while the cheaper products will be on the top or bottom shelves. Optimizing prices is another analytical technique used to maximize customer spending. Many grocery stores will have what are called loss leaders, products that are very cheap to draw customers into the store where they will inevitably spend more on other overpriced items. Grocers will also find the ideal times and prices to mark down expiring products, preventing the product from being thrown away at a complete loss. This concludes our introductory video about business analytics. Today we covered a definition of business analytics, the wisdom hierarchy, data sources, and business analytics terms, applications, history, and uses. Thank you.